Hey everybody, and welcome back to Hand of the Fate. The more you play, the more I wonder. So we can go to endless mode, but instead we're going to go for the Jack of Scales. Mana drain, cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Okay. Last man standing in every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Okay, that's... That's the very important. The scales to know. are represented by these lizard men, quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. All right, so we always start with an axe, even though I don't have an axe in here. Um, but we didn't start with a shield last time, so I'm putting one of the normal shields back in, and we're going to see if that works. Uh, I definitely want to add all of these back in. I believe I'm going to take out... The, you know, the healer's ring was okay. I'll take out the ring of poverty. Chances are I'm never going to use it. It's a cool idea. Well, maybe I will. Uh, what wouldn't I use? Uh, this. The consuming shame. Honestly, I the only reason I grabbed it or held onto it or was glad I got it was so that I could trade it in in the one event. So, encounters. We can now... Okay. Calling the Ratman encounter. We need that. That's unfortunate. Well... If I add all the new stuff, we're seven encounters over. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have to call some of these. Oh wow, I can remove that. Um... The ones that didn't seem all that interesting to me... I need Culling the Ratman, I very much want that in there. Um, A Wife's Fury and the Local Peasant, let's pass on those. Um, Old Graveyard... I want to see where this goes, I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this goes. This sounds like it would be something good. Same with this. I want to see where this one goes as well. Um. Oh. I'm getting rid of Field of Poppies. I hate that encounter. It's so bad. But we basically earned being able to take it out. So let's get started. I have no idea how long this is going to take. You've taken one of my symbols. But now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake. And I do not intend to This is going to be a long one. I foresee this being ridiculously long. Scales. I have saved the Lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. I'm not giving half my food for a blessing. Okay, here's remains. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. It's really dark. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Sure. Thank you. This man will mean the world. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. I feel like it's wrong to use this. I'll try it. pleases you. Shield bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increases as you go up combo tiers. See, now I have a shield. Right, so I'm going to use them, but I'm not going to sell my other ones. After five steps, there loses 50% max health. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. 
Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Interesting. Oh. It goes right there. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town clerk meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. I'll return his gear. Thank you. The blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have his shield? Yeah. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning this shield. Two blessing cards and the token. Whenever the Many player eats food, blessings are too good ice, for the likes of you. We gain twice the usual healing, and a kill made with using the an axe look upon gives us three favorably. You have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. So I presume that token will get us this artifact or that artifact. Oh, so I can't even do the other encounter. Press on. Oh well. I appreciate your efforts. Oh, good lord. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. So, we might be at the disadvantage. So those are combo tiers. Nice. So every kill with an axe is going to give us health. Every five places we go is going to lose us half our health. We heal twice as much when we take food. Like, I'm, I'm still okay with this. Ooh. I want to explore. I want to explore. I'm a terrible person. This might get me killed, but I want to explore. Traveling healer. Okay. Might as well approach it. At the very least, I can maybe buy some food. Oh my god. Oh, the heavy burden is gone. Okay. I don't have anything special to sell. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy food. I'm not gonna buy one food for four bucks. It's good to know the option is there. Dead Man's Gorge. This is one that he I'm added. sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Two of scales. We're actually looking for Frostfang. Because Frostfang deals extra damage to lizard men. <laughs> So... Can't be interrupted, he's the last man standing. You can't be stunned. Got him. The lizard men really... That's great. They, you're, they're using a tortoise shell as a shield? That's just... Damn, like, that's good. Okay. Five food is what I'm more happy about. Oh, nice. Hopefully this isn't, like, expensive. More and more portals are opening across the land, and hell beasts are appearing with greater frequency. These portals seem to appear more often around the Greenboro Forest. Yeah, we'll search the forest for clues. Okay. Watching top cards, watching top cards. Now one. Yes! Oh, that was close. During your search, you discover some bags lost or left behind by traders and travelers. 40 gold? Damn, son. Your investigation also uncovers what may be treasure or powerful artifact, but it is concealed behind thick, strangling vines. If you swing your weapon down, attacking the vines with gusto, your weapon isn't strong enough to break these vines. Alright, so I need a stronger weapon. 
but I can't get any of those here, so we we will have to do that encounter later. This is going to be interesting. I didn't think the other two were dead. They must have been, though. Two gains cards. 15 health, that's nice. I'm almost dead, so 10 food. I like where we are in the terminal in the food department. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. So he is cycling some of his stuff, but I'm okay with that. Lizard men take double damage from the player's attacks. Um, that sounds really good. This also sounds really good. Oh, I kind of want this, but I also kind of want this. I think this is going to give me better stuff in the end. The power of a prophet. Choose your fate. Ew. He sells really bad for really bad rates. I would have picked this next fruit. So basically now, whenever I pick gains cards, I'm going to get to pick and, and choose. Which means I will always get better stuff. Hopefully. I, yeah. I want to have 50 gold on me. I bet me. you're thrilled to see Jack again. <laughs> yeah, thrilled to see Jack. I got my three health. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. I can't stun him, which is brutal. Got him. I was about to get punched right in the face, too. Rough. That is rough. But we got him. Five food. It's nice. I heal so much. Oh, it's the crucible. I didn't take the crucible out. of honor, or at least a close approximation. I'll take the young dead do tend to rise again. I don't mind, Jack. So now he can't be stunned or interrupted. Oh, really? He was winding up. That 
Three health from axes is being really, really nice right now. I would still upgrade for something else. I have to do it again now. Oh, I get four gold gains, which I'm okay with. I don't know. Two skulls, two scales. I'd rather fight the skulls. It'll be easy. <laughs> I think all of his attacks just become red attacks with that with the curse that I have. So it doesn't really matter all that much. And now we get four gold games cards. Oh. Final arena. Oh, this is new. They made it harder. I need to take care of the plague first. Those ranged attacks are brutal. update immediately, but the pluses and minuses I don't think do. Oh wow, only one? That's rough. 40 gold though, so awesome. Please find the colder Atman encounter. Another ambush. But I'm at 50 HP. Like, I'm good. That's annoying. Yeah, I got a ninja achievement. I don't remember if I even mentioned it, but... Now, you're not the last man standing. Combat is so much fun. It's not the most. Um, oh, nice. Alright, so it's not the most, like, difficult combat in the world, let's be honest. But, overall, it's really enjoyable. It's, it's fun. There is some skill involved. There's still a rat alive. I will kill him once again. You watch the failure to see if it's on top. Then you watch what's on top. I don't know if that's really intent. Like, that's the, really the intent. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Ooh. I mean, I might as well. Defense medium. See, and here's where I get to pick two. Um, I mean, I... Well, but as I said, I, I've now picked up three, two extra food and five extra health. From that helmet alone. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Ah, crap. This arrangement is super annoying. Ooh, the White Council 3. While resting at the inn of a small town, you suddenly are accosted. You are suddenly accosted by a young man. You, it's all your fault. You doomed the village of Dimsgate. The White Council thinks that we paid you to attack their men. In retribution, they have plagued our town with the undead. One day a group of mages appeared out of nowhere and laid a curse on the town. Some men, my father included, tried to stop them. But it was hopeless. Their magical shields blocked every blow. Then they conjured a hail of enchanted arrows that pierced our men through flesh, bone, and organ. We had to abandon our village. Even now, a horde of living dead keeps us from returning. I will offer to help. It was kind of my fault. As so you should, you can start by returning to our village and clearing out the undead. Their numbers seem to be limitless. Okay, so we've got returns to Dimsgate over there. 
Ooh, you're gonna ask me every to give you game must stuff. have both winners and losers. Without them, it degenerates into nothingness. All right, we're at 50 50 here. This was a success. I feel so bad watching top cards. A blessing. Undead. Useful. Nice, that will be useful. And the token is mine. Ah, oh, the noble trader. Nobly mined, or simply noble by birth. A very, very, very good question. A nobleman approaches on a chariot. As you walk the streets of Stiegel, he notices you and comes to a stop. You there, peasant. I wish to purchase your armor as a gift for my nephew. He is of similar build and enjoys a good scuffle on occasion. Sure. The nobleman waits patiently as you take off your armor and then hand it to him. He should appreciate this. Ahem. After I've cleaned it, of course. Enjoy your newfound wealth. The nobleman rides away. And four gold gain cards. Wow, I get to pick out of these two. So that's ten gold. Twelve gold I've made overall. Twenty-two. This could just recoup the cost. Thirty-two gold I've profited. Thirty-seven. So seven gold. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Now I do need to stop someplace pretty soon here. Please be a shot. Nice. I do need to make sure that I have at least 50 gold. That I do need to be sure of. During combat, press serve armor to create a blast of freezing ice. That one I know. Spirit walk. During combat, press right bumper to become ethereal, avoiding all damage until your next attack. Healer's ring. Whenever you receive healing, you also gain a gold. If I heal 17 times, this pays for itself. I don't think I will heal that many times. I'm really sad that this only has nine uses. Uh, oh, I don't know. This one's just so good. Ew. That's so expensive for food. Especially with the plunderer's cap or whatever it is that I've got. And this is the return to Dimsgate. You return to the village of Lesser Dimsgate, now cursed by the White Council. The eerie silence lies heavily upon you as you walk the deserted streets. In the town square, you discover a pair of unusual totems. They are made of bone and glow with an un unnatural energy. The unliving bones of fallen villagers walk the earth in silent vigil around them. Attack the undead! Seriously, there's only four of skulls? There's gotta be something going on here that I'm not aware of. Something that's gonna jump up on me. I feeling that they would have kept spawning until I did that. Oh, nice. He was the last one standing. Handled. Later that day, the villagers learn of your efforts and begin returning to bury their dead. You've done nothing, stranger, yells an old woman as she drags a sack of bones toward the village cemetery. These rogue devils will be back again when they hear of this. Next time they'll probably blast this entire village off the face of the earth. You've doomed us all. You don't have to even come back. You could just come back. Don't mind her, a young girl says. She's always cranky. Thank you for laying our fall into rest. She has a point, though. They're probably going to come and kill us all unless you can stop them. Oh, joy. Ah. 
fine. I'm gonna have to buy food from these guys eventually. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will make it back. I really am sad that these bounce back and forth like this. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Okay, so this is the one that we really had to go through. You sit at the table of the mayor of Lesser Dimsgate one evening, discussing the perils of living near wizards. The mage guild has always gathered in the forest at that tall tower of theirs, says the mayor with a sigh. It's been that way since my grandfather's day and longer. Well, back then they weren't so aggressive. There were rumors that unwanted visitors would be turned to stone and such like, but mostly they just kept themselves to themselves and left other people alone. They would sometimes emerge to help the villagers, using herbs and magic to cure a particularly nasty disease, for example, or anything else that might interrupt the delivery of their wine and other supplies. Sure, there would sometimes be a young upstart among them looking to make a name for himself and causing trouble for us, but they'd soon leave to join the court of some kingdom or other. The wizard Zahagan changed all that, though. The self-appointed leader of the White Council now demands tribute, even from small kingdoms. What chance has a humble village like ours against their power? If anything threatens the council, they just pop back to their tower and magic keeps them, keeps anyone from finding its real location. No army can lay siege to, or even reach the tower. Oh, well, that's about the spy wagons. The spy wagons had to get there somehow. Terran the merchant handles that. He told me once that he just heads into the forest and eventually one of them appears and magics the entire contents of his wagon away. I suppose you could ask him to let you hide with his stock. That might get you in. But then, but what then? All right. Our hero needs so I have to buy food. Badly. I'm not happy about buying food, but I'll buy some food. Enough to keep me above fifty. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yes. Buying stuff is nice. We shall hitch a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Oh my. The this lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. What you need. Four gold gain cards. So we're up at to, to 42 now. <laughs> 67. 72. We've made back our money, is basically what I'm getting at. Wow. 99. We have effectively made 99 gold by spending the 44. So overall, fifty-five. Battle at Brooktop. Are your senses acute enough to detect what? I didn't take here? this out either. Uh, I just automatically attacked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because what else would I do? can't be stunned, but he's shooting projectiles, so he can still have his projectiles reflected. That would have been a good place to use my item, but I'm not like all that worried. Mm. 
Oh gosh, I could heal stupid. Um, we'll try spirit walk. Really? Is that what you're going to do? I'm not sure what makes me gain car or pick two sometimes and not others. I'll approach the shop. I don't think I'm gonna buy a blessing. I can't remove these curses, they're too expensive. And they're really not that bad either. I'd have to do that 15 times for this to pay for itself. I might end up with an excess of food, but I'd rather have an excess of food than a lack of food. And I've got the 50 gold I need to dispel the rat men. For whenever that becomes a thing. Well, now I have to fight them, so. Four of plague. Gotta get ready on my counter button. Oh, dang it, no, stop it. It was worth getting the execute. He's now unblockable. Oh wow, I stepped in fire. Yeah, I took an extra blow, but I get three back for using an axe to kill him. It's very nice, actually. Do I get food? Nope. The traveling healer isn't really gonna help me. But I'll check it out. Never know what they might have. Yeah. Nothing that I need, but it's worth checking. It doesn't cost me anything extra to check. The Devil's Carnival. At its heart, these traveling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored but are now faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements, seeming almost dazed. There is something about the place that dulls your senses and, for a while, you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place. Yeah, random is random now. Failure. The black cat darts out and weaves between your legs. Distracted, you take a wrong turn and wander down a darkened alley. The mysteries of the carnival await you. Oh, God. A choice. Select your desire. Huge success! A muffled call for help brings your attention to a hall of mirrors. You stand, you stride inside, weapon in hand. In the reflected gloom, you can see some cloaked figures moving, but you cannot tell in which direction or how close they are. After some time, you come across a small dark pool on the ground. A few coins lie scattered around, stained red with the blood of their previous owner. You continue to make your way through the mirrors, but find no other signs of life until you rejoin the street crowds. As you walk away, you wonder what kind of thieves would take a person and leave their gold. Soon you are distracted and the incident slips from memory. Sometime later you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sound of the crowd behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town, long ago abandoned. That's fucked. I love it. But that's fucked. The Maiden! 
I need a lock There's of a your hair. There's a token in it for you if you win. Your thoughts turn to Mr. Lyle and his need for some elven hair. The maiden considers this for a moment before slicing a few strands from her hair. As you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they may never be trusted. So basically we're going to get betrayed, is what I'm hearing. The elders of our kind have often said that we must retread paths we once took in order to gain an advantage on the present. Farewell, mortal. Token is mine. The altar. Whimsy and caprice. The domains of the old gods. Were they always thus? Or has age corrupted their nature? On a, desert, on a deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of old religion are powerful yet unpredictable in their favors. Do you wish to pray at the altar? Yes. Success, success, success has huge failure. Well, the huge failure's right there, so... Watching top cards is so cheaty. On bended knee, you beseech the gods of... The god... Bleh. Let me start over. On bended knee, you beseech the gods to aid you in your quest. A distant rumbling and a flash of lightning answers your prayer. Lizard eater, receive one food for I every lizard killed? Too Hell powerful. yeah. I will have to rebalance that next That's time. That's awesome! Kill lizard, gain food. Dead man's gorge. It's I don't care. To put you off crossing at bridges like this. Aw, two of dust. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Dang it. I forgot they can't be interrupted. Into the abyss of water to you for yeah. <laughs> Two is not a very hard fight. Two gains cards. I want food. Oh, Oh, yes, please. This cap is the best goddamn thing ever. I will never take another helm over this if I have an option. Unless I'm already so set in supplies it doesn't matter. Back to the Smuggler's War. Win this and claim my token. Uh, I'll bribe a ship hand. I'll threaten him. Oh, boy. I had to be greedy. Random's random! That was my own fault. I wonder what happens if I if I go back to it. Now Damn. a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. So this is the end. Dang it, I was thinking there was gonna be another floor. Oh well, I should have just paid the gold. Hey look, I'm gonna get four food. I wonder if he counts as food. Oh wow, that's awesome. Wow, he just wrecked his own guy. I'll take the execute. I'm just using it. If this is the last fight, oh, he's dead. I'm really sad I didn't get to cull the rats, because I had the gold to do it. And I didn't get food from all of them, so there's that. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. The scepter. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Alright, so, the start of your adventure, you gain an equipment card. You start your adventure with more food. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Nice. Ratmen have had their strength increased. Bandits have had their strength increased. And Lizardmen have had their strength increased. 
that sounds about right. I'm okay with that. I'm totally the okay with that. The represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. King Z here I receive. Holy Order gain 10 gold per blessing. That wouldn't have been too bad with the number of blessings I had. War Cry. Interesting. Only five uses, that one. Donating to the orphanage, we receive Ring of Enlightenment and Charity 3. For trading with the nobleman, I get 25 gold gain and the lovers. Interesting. For keep helping Lesser Demon's Gate, I get the White Council 4. This is the Maiden. For gaining the Elseman Hair, I gain the, Goblins, the Goblin King's Halls 2. The Old Religion, 30 gold, and Demon Trader. Interesting. Queen of Skulls, Metal Ore, Holy Forge, and Dark Ritual. The Hearn Antlers and the Undead Bane. Which we saw the Hearn's Antlers, you deal double damage. It's Lizardmen, but let's be honest. Let us continue. It was totally worth totally worth the adventurer's helm. We made like 55 gold and like a stupid amount of food too. So, uh, with how long these are now taking, uh, this is going to be it for now. This basically estimates about six more episodes of this. I mean, hypothetically, because there's six more encounters. Plus one for every single time that I fail. So, we'll find out how many episodes. But overall, I'm still enjoying myself. I'm looking forward to seeing how things were upgraded. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this this game. Please leave any feedback that you have in the comments section down below. I do appreciate any feedback that you guys are willing to give. It lets me improve my channel and you guys get to enjoy things hopefully more. But yeah, thank you all once again for watching and I will see you next time.